Hi, how's it going? So today we want to talk about the app templates that are available in Xcode. Specifically, I want to show you how to use the single view app template. Let's move over to Xcode and let's create a new Xcode project. You're presented with some options to choose. You have a couple of different groups. You have iOS, watch OS, TV OS, Mac OS, and cross platform. If we go back to iOS, these are all the application templates. We want to select single view app and choose next. Let's give this a name and we'll just call this single view. And you use your organization name or, or individual name and then your domain, reverse domain name. This becomes your bundle ID along with the name of the app. The reason you use the reverse domain is that it's assumed that that is a unique domain, that if, if it's something you own or your company owns, then it's gonna be unique. This bundle ID has to be unique across the store so that uh, it can install on all the devices. The language we want is Swift and we're not gonna use core data or unit tests yet, so go ahead and choose next. We're gonna select a place, I'm gonna just go ahead and click create. This presents us with a default project that gives us an app delegate, a view controller, a main storyboard, a launch screen storyboard with info P list and an assets folder or assets package. So let's take a look at each of these and see what they do. The app delegate is used in all applications. It is the entry point into your application, as well as where you can listen for notifications. For example, if the user is going to exit the app, you're going to get a notification that says application will resign. And you can do things here to save state, uh, save data, whatever. And then there are things like when the application did enter the background, meaning it's now no longer active. Um, you can listen for when the app will enter the foreground, meaning it's going to come back to life. They're going to use it again. Uh, and then when it did become active, and then finally the application will terminate. This happens when your app is in the background and then the OS says, hey, I need more memory. I'm going to kill your app. So we'll look at how these work in other videos, but for now just know that the app delegate is very important to the life cycle of the app in relation to whether it's active or not. The view controller is the source code for a view control, UI view controller element or visual element. We see that in the main.storyboard. If I open the main.storyboard, here is the view controller. And if I select the view controller, make sure you select at the top. Then I come over here to my inspector um, here what I see is this says class view controller. This represents, this is connected to this source code. This view controller dot Swift is the source code to control all the things that happen on this particular element. Now I can add additional view controllers and I can add additional controls. Well, here I am in Xcode 10. I wonder why they didn't call it Xcode X. Anyway, Xcode 10 has some slight changes, which is fun, especially when you've been using Xcode since the beginning and, and things have been the same place they've always been. And then you open this up and you're staring at the screen going, where is my library of controls? Well, guess what? It's up here. Notice up here to the left of these other buttons, there is this library button. Go ahead and select that and check this out. You now have, here's all of your objects that you have available. So you could drag uh, a view controller, you could add it to your screen, you can do all sorts of things. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select and delete that. And let's just go back to our view controller. Let's, let's take a look at this. Let's run this and see what it looks like. Right now I have, um, I've, it defaults to X, the iPhone 10R. So we'll just go ahead and select that and choose run. This will launch the iOS simulator. 
And here it is. Check it out. Here's your first app. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, there's nothing on it, right? There's nothing there. Well, the reason there's nothing there is because we, didn't, we don't have any controls on the screen. Go back to Xcode and choose Stop. And let's add something to this view controller. Click our library button and let's just type uh, button. This filters everything for us. So we want to click and drag and let's drop this button onto the screen. Uh, let's change the text, double click into it and just say hello with an exclamation point. And we'll click away. Now we want to add some uh, constraints to this because if we don't, otherwise it's just going to be physically in that spot regardless of the orientation of the device or the size of the device. So uh, if we come down here, we can click add new constraints. And here you could, wait, let's select our object first. Here you could add some constraints. If you go with these values here and I add a constraint, then it's going to always be, you know, this number of pixels from the left, top and right and bottom. Well, I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to use this alignment constraints and I want to say horizontal and vertically in container and click add constraints. Now it's updated. Let's check this out in the simulator. Go ahead and click run and hey, check it out. It says hello. Now I can change the orientation of the device if I press um, command and I use the arrow keys left or right, then I can see how it behaves. Awesome. All right. So the idea of a single view app template is it gives you a starting point. You can, from here, you can add more view controllers. You can do other things. Well, when would you use this? You could use this if you're doing something that requires, you know, things that update on the screen and you're not changing the layout that often, or you're not doing anything that requires additional screens to manage, then it works well. So for example, on your iPhone or your iPad, I should say on the iPhone, you have a calculator. Well, the calculator app is, is a single view app. Now, when you rotate to landscape, it has some additional scientific calculator buttons, but essentially it is a single view application. So this hopefully gives you a good overview. Um, the assets folder is where you will add things like your app icon and use other images. It helps you manage um, all the different sizes for the different device types. Um, your launch screen storyboard happens to do with any kind of splash screen or launch screen that you want. We'll cover this in another video, but again, this gives you kind of the basics of creating an iOS application. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Did you like? Did you like yet? Awesome, thank you.